Milky Way is a barrel spiral galaxy with a diameter about 180,000 light years. The solar system is about 1.87 light years in it. So we can think how big the galaxy is. This vast galaxy has more than 100 billion stars and more than 100 billion planets. But how was it discovered? First idea of a galaxy was proposed by ancient Greek philosophers. But back then the technology was not that well to prove it. And then came Galileo Galilei with his telescope and pointed it to the galaxy in 1610 and he was able to see the countless stars which made this galaxy. Then many scientists gave their theories on the galaxy. The name Milky Way is a bit strange but it was named by how it looked from Earth. It looks like a white band of light twinkling with stars all around. Galactic Center you might heard it in the Star Wars or some other sci-fi movie. But what is it actually? Galactic Center is the rotational center of the Milky Way. Milky Way rotates with the speed of 282,000 kmph. It is not visible and we cannot study it further because of the ultraviolet rays and X-rays released by the Galactic Center. We know that our planets rotate around the Sun. But our sun rotates around the center of the Milky Way which is so massive and huge that it takes about 250 million years to complete one orbit. That year is known as galactic year or cosmic year. Milky Way even have a great collection of stars too. It has billions of stars. There are even stars which are 100 times massive than our sun. Stars like Pistol are really very big in size and heat production. But there are stars bigger than them. Theta Carinae was discovered in 2009. It is 800 times massive than our sun and it is 4 million times brighter than sun. And a star named Vicanus Majoris show that it has a size between 600 and 2100 times the size of our sun. However, this star is only about 500,000 times brighter than our sun and 30 or so times more massive than our sun. So how can it be so big? It is in a stage of its life cycle called a red hypergent, and while it is very big, it is rather cool in temperature compared to our sun. Vicanus Majoris is located about 5000 light years away from Earth. Now let's talk about something very interesting black holes. There is a black hole in almost every galaxy. In case of our galaxy it is in the center of our galaxy. That black hole a supermassive black hole. It is the biggest of all the outer types of black holes. The black hole is 26,000 light years from the solar system, in a region called Sagittarius. The center of it is estimated to be about 17 light hours. The scientists discovered it by studying the radio waves emitted for the galactic center. But in most of the galaxies it is uncommon to have a black hole in galactic center. Scission of Andromeda and Milky Way Galaxies Yes there is going to be a collision between Andromeda and Milky Way galaxies. This incident is predicted to take place after 4 billion years. These are the two biggest galaxies in the local group. The Andromeda galaxy is approaching the Milky Way at about 110 km per second. Such collisions are relatively common, considering galaxies' long lifespans. Andromeda, for example, is believed to have collided with at least one other galaxy in the past, and several dwarf galaxies such as SGRDSPH are currently colliding with the Milky Way and being merged into it. The Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies each contain a central supermassive black hole. So we can't think of what happens when two supermassive black holes collide. There are even predictions which say our solar system can be sucked by those black holes. But don't fear it's going to happen after 4 billion years. We have got a long time. And we even got a lot to discover. Milky Way is huge, massive, and it has got a long way to go. Thanks for watching. Keep loving science. Thanks for watching.